Good to have you with us at the MABA Stadium in Kuala Lumpur for this important match between Singapore and Indonesia in the men's basketball. Singapore twice bronze medalists at the last two Southeast Asian Games. Indonesia beat them quite convincingly at the SIBA Games in 2017. There's a look at uh, some of the schedule with women's and men's competitions well underway now at uh, these 29th Southeast Asian Games. Singapore two from two. Indonesia have just had the one outing for a victory over Vietnam. So they would love to finish top of Group B Singapore but uh, there are some tough matches waiting for them. Indonesia had a light start to the schedule. They'll be very keen to get their second game underway and out of the way hopefully with a W but for Singapore they'll be looking to make it three from three. Ladies and gentlemen announcing the Indonesia team. Number one, Dika Pratama. Number two, Hadrianus Nakudu. Number five, Mario Russo. Number seven, Andrakara Prestawa. Number eight, Abraham Dama. Number nine, Sandy Fabiansha. Number ten, Kevin Sitoros. Number thirty, Abraham Lopez. Number fifteen, Christian Setepu. Number sixteen, Furman Nagroho. Number thirty-three, Arki Dikania. Number forty-one, Vincent Ravalde. And the coach is Wayu Widaya and assistant coach Johannes Winner and three Prasitio. For the Singapore team, number one, Lim Chun Yuan. Number four, Jonathan Chiu. Number five, Wong Wei Long. Number nine, John Ng. Number ten, Leon Poet. Number eleven, Larry Liu. Number forty, Leon Chia. Number fifty, Russell Lowe. Number seventeen, Er Han Bin. Number eighteen, Mitchell Volkov. Number twenty-three, Delvin Go. And number thirty-four, Lovin Raj. The coach is Frank Arcigo, and assistant coach Leo Nam King and Mr. Joe So. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem of Indonesia.
Ladies and gentlemen, kindly remain standing for the national anthem of Singapore. underway from group B and there are the ages sizes weights so one man over two meters and Furman in number 16 the guy of Furman Dewey and 105 kilos and two meters there's the starting five for Indonesia Usang starting guard with uh, Abraham de Margrahita, Sidapu center. Let's see how this five matches up in the opening moments against Singapore. Indonesia! We now invite both teams for their final huddle before tip off, starting in the next one minute plus. So, Lavin Laj Raj, and turn your eyes to number 34 there, 17 years of age, 2 metres tall, 145 kilos. He's uh, a big unit. Not in the starting five though. Bill and go, uh, Mitchell Folkoff. Forwards for the opening minutes for Singapore, and there's their Australian-born coach, Franco Asigo, or Frank. He's coached uh, widely through the Australian NBL and the Australian Institute of Sport. You're on this side. You're on this side, basket side. You're on the other side. We throw it in here. We catch. We go straight in and we look for the big strong fella inside and we go, right? If, if you miss that and you can't get it, keep going and then you can see if you can take your man to the bar. So moments away from the start. Singapore with a couple of wins under their belt. Indonesia with the one. 
Neither team has had a loss yet. Just a small crowd in at the Marba Stadium with uh, Malaysia not involved in this match. And it being a, uh, a weekday afternoon. But we should see some, some good basketball here. Indonesia in the red uniforms. Singapore in the white. And the first touch to Singapore. Now they get themselves set and see if they can run the set play orchestrated by Frank Asigo. Coach is bringing a lot to uh, Singapore basketball and has done over a number of years in one capacity or another. Possession to Singapore. Kim Jun-Yun just briefly losing the handle on that one. Good physical contact and contest inside. Looking for the basket with a hook shot was uh, Russell Lowe and it won't go for Lowe. Indonesia with their first possession efficiently down court. Looking for Lane, looking for an open man. Pressure on Wushang, the headband, you can't really miss him, gets the ball inside. That uh, won't count. Good tight defense, the opening of this match. Screen well set. Lim comes inside. And it goes. Lim Jun Yun. That's the opening points for Singapore. Mario Wusheng brings it down once more. We see a lot of him throughout the match. And way long for Singapore. Shape for the three. Don't take it. Shot clock down to five. Didn't get it away. Good defensive pressure from Singapore. And the coach out of his chair to applaud the effort of his five men. At Indonesia scrambling. So no shot away. Low scoring start to this important match. Singapore looking to reverse the result from the SEBA games in the Philippines in May. Oh, just a skinny amount of time left on the shot clock now for Singapore to get organised and get a shot away. against Indonesia. And 14 back on the shot clock. Five now, is soaking up the seconds, push it back outside for the three-point attempt, and it's good. Larry Lou. Galloping down court to get set for the Indonesian effort. A foul there. From Lim. Sweet shot for Singapore and was uh, Mitch Volkoff, not uh, Larry Liu. My apologies to Mitchell. Robbed him of one. Two at the line for Indonesia. And he gave that as a two-point uh, attempt at the other end. Oh, 
action and it's show, slow to adjust the score on uh, on your screens but 4-1 it is to Singapore had almost three minutes of play oh strong work inside Delvin go well, the defense having a good slap at the ball and his midriff withstands the pressure Wushang inside nice move from Mario at 20 points against Singapore at the SEBA games so he's uh, the go-to guy for Indonesia Nice drive inside again from Russell Lowe. They can't stop the big man. Delvin Go bumping through the traffic. It's a nice, delicate touch shot away from close to the basket. Just backing his way in. <laughs> Good physical game inside. Indonesia to answer for two. No, they don't. And Lowe Lu takes the rebound. Falkov. Low. For the three. Won't go. Rebound inside, nearly taken offensively for Singapore, but instead it's Mario Wushang bringing it down once more. What a pass! Wushang inside to Sidapu. He's got magic hands, Mario Wushang. Singapore by three, five and a half left in the first. Too much traffic there, and the spill ball goes the way of Indonesia on the fast break. They can't control it. Lim has it for Singapore. Low has it inside. Foul against Indonesia. How about this pass? The no look. <laughs> Shovel off the hip pass from Mario Wushang. I can watch that uh, kind of skill all day. No matter who he plays for and no matter who you support, he's got some skills that make him look like he's built to play basketball and play it well. Off, off to Larry Lou inside only red shirts there so poor delivery baskets hard to come by in this first quarter well he either went for a walk or was fouled that was uh, De Canya. So he's at the line. Two shots for Arky Dekanya. Arky Dekanya gets them both. Lopez on for Indonesia. Margin just one. Still four and a half left in the first quarter. And still, you'd say it's a low scoring first quarter. Some nerves. Oh, and some solid contact there. It's got to go against uh, Satoris. Good 
Cleon Quick checking in. And out of the game comes Russell Lowe, who's done some hard work in lo inside. Been playing a, a physical first quarter. Difter comes in for Indonesia. Sartorius sits down. So Singapore got more shots away and had a bit more possession. But four from seven. Oh, that strength. Delvin go. Had players all over him and still got the effective soft shot away. So 10-7 Singapore. Four left in the first. Indonesia doing well to keep it under pressure. Five on the shot clock now. Singapore ball. In traffic. Delvin go, makes it go. Singapore have made the kind of start that uh, Frank Arcego would have been asking for. Not being out muscled or intimidated by the Indonesian team. Got some big boys in there. And well beaten last time they met at the SEBA Games. Oh, can't find the handle on a strong rebound. Leon Quick did a lot of good work, couldn't finish it off, and retained possession as Lakadu Hadianis checks in. And Mario Wishang has a break. See if we can hear what the coaches have to say. Can get Mike down there quickly enough. Laying down the Lord of Larry Lou. Right? Okay, Delvin, we're running four out, right? Which means we want you to play all the four spots. Right? I don't mind that shot in the short corner, but hey, right you did, get in there on the boards. Give us a second bite of the cherry. Right? So 10-7 at the timeout, with 3.18 left in the first. Good to make a note of the score when the timeouts come, because sometimes there's a complete change in the momentum of a game after a timeout, then that's often what the coaches are looking for, particularly if the run has been going against them. So Indonesia with possession, and Lakadu. His way out towards the key, looking for some help. Fabrian Suk is on with the long hair and inside finished off by uh, Dwi. Great delivery and they'll go to the line as well. Way along making an impact. Beautiful pass and quick. Bumped on his way. Some nice work at the other end as well with Furman finishing. Got another two shots as uh, Delvin Go does the hard work inside, looking for a rebound off the free throw that was missed. And the Indonesian coach won't be happy that his lads didn't claim that one. 
Don't want to give up rebounds. Defensive rebounds on free throws. Go. Gets the second. And Singapore by four. Adianis. Patana. Adianis gets the screen, winds his way into the key. And there's a travel against Lopez. He looked once too often. Inguio Lopez. Enguiao on his shirt. Delvin goes, had a good first quarter. Delvin, eight rebounds a game at Seba. Uh, Philippines. Oh, that should have gone at Mark. Yet it does. Russell Lowe. Up high. Half a dozen points off turnovers for Singapore. And they've stretched the lead to six. Another stop here would be good. Not going to get it. Shots open from outside for Fabriansak. Sandy for short. Sandy with the long hair. Good decision to kick it out to Sandy with a shot like that. And Sandy Fabriansic. Not a lot of him. Looks like he can shoot. Well, Lane was open there. Sandy again, this time from inside. And the lead's suddenly back to two. A little switch off from Singapore defensively. Seven on the shot clock. The shot is short. Might go again. And fouled. And Russell Lowe made a couple of attempts. This was Rivaldi at the other end. Not uh, Sandy Fabriancic. Apologies to uh, Kozia Vincent Rivaldi. I did not deny him a couple of points. Give them back to him now. Singapore needing to settle into converting these free throws. They've missed a few early ones, but there's two from low. Just a minute left in this first quarter. Nothing between these two quality sides. Indonesia has to be a travel. Made a, an easy call for the refs. And uh, with less than a minute on the clock, Indonesia call a timeout. It's a sloppy travel, that last one. White, red, and then green. White, red, and green. Double, double, double. We cannot white, and then red. Kalau dia terlalu ini, rotate, kita jadi green rotate-nya. Nanti gak? White, red, and green. Uh, we can go to work, right? Okay, that's the, that's the key. Right? We want to be in good position. Radio, now, man to man. Radio, you know, out of this, if they stay in man, right? If they stay in man, let's run. Let's, 
Let's run, let's run one time if we can. Let's run a circle. Okay. We run a circle, open action, the guy on the wing, if you've got a one-on-one, -on -one, you take it to the paint because they've got 16 fouls, yeah. right? Yeah. Little shot fake, draw a foul, get some points, earn some points. Right, Larry? Circle. You play on the wing, you play at the point. That way you may get a chance to have a crack. Oh, that's right, that's right. One score, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Frank Arcego, a very enthusiastic and positive coach. It's what you want, and those important words. You get to speak to your team. Keep the message simple. Keep it positive. Pretty straightforward advice, but uh, I always hear it that way. Coaches get uh, a bit hot under the collar when things aren't going right, and to keep their game on song, not always easy. Kick it out for the long distance, two, and it goes. Nineteen fourteen, twenty-five left before the first break. Singapore looking for another stop. For three, well short. So Singapore with a chance to maybe uh, get to twenty if they're efficient here. clock inside the shot clock and it's taken out by Indonesia 2.2 not much more time than to throw and shoot oh wasn't a bad effort from way long but a pleasing first quarter from Singapore's point of view they lead Indonesia at the first break by 19 to 14 in this Group B match at the Southeast Asian Games in Kuala Lumpur. Underway. Second quarter action, Singapore and Indonesia. We've had a little bit of joy from outside. Go for another three. It's way short and it will be Indonesia's ball. Long way long. Checks out. Good boxing out from Singapore to claim the rebound uh, to John Ng. 
So 19-14 it was at the break. Player goes down and that uh, opens the way to the basket. Oh, that's a, a free basket missed by Singapore. And uh, Larry Liu won't be pleased to have missed that one. And banks it off the glass. And there's uh, Sitapu. That's when the easy miss at the other end really hurts when the opposition comes down and takes their chance. So a scrappy start to the second quarter and uh, Frank Arcega doesn't like what he sees. So out of the game goes Mitchell Folkoff. Sang. Oh, open for the three. And Singapore almost make a mess of the rebound. That comes off Indonesia with good hands up there from Sandy Fabriancic. And the bulky figure of Wismil Aki Dikanya is back into the game. Sloppy bit of handling there from Volkov, who actually came on for Leon Quick. I got that uh, exchange incorrect. And you could argue that uh, Mario Wishang ducked his head into that foul. It's a strange one. for the restart from the side. Nicely done from De Canya. Wishnu on his shirt. Wishnu, one of his given names. John Eng looking for some help. Through low. Key was open. And they'll get two shots. He was chopped to the floor. Sidapu got themselves in a bit of foul trouble first quarter, Indonesia. That's the great work from Wisnu. The earlier basket. Singapore by five at quarter time. Second free throw for Ng doesn't go, but he might get to retake it. Lin Jun Yun was. Maya Wusheng. Having trouble containing him. Expert dribble of the ball. And what about the pass? Sidapu cashes in on the skills of Mario. Super Mario. Lim. Drives along the baseline. Throws up a prayer. Nothing answered. We're saying again, working on this near side this time. So gets the ball out, but that's over and back, and that will be a turnover. Drove in hard. That was the earlier dish off. For Sidapu. Doesn't miss those. Unguarded in the key, Sidapu. For the three. And it goes. 
Larry Lou. Mario Wushane, what's he got this time? He's been the dominant player on court for Indonesia. Take for the three, drive inside and gets it. Wisnu. A couple of baskets for him in the last couple of minutes, keeping Indonesia in the game. They've closed a five point lead to one. Stepping up defensively, Indonesia in the second quarter. Spin move. Won't go. Wushan. On the fast break. Stalls on the perimeter though. Sets up a three. It gets nothing. Patana's coming back into the game. This is Wishnu. Got some moves for a big man. And the game tightening up. Singapore need a basket here. Not sure where it's going to come from. The Indonesian defense is tightened. Indonesia leading this quarter 8-4. way long back into the game Larry Lou turning so what's this about what's that for <laughs> this new pleading his case with the refs a symmetrical setup around the key for the restart. Falkoff. And more foul trouble for Indonesia. They struggled in the first quarter. This new. What did I do? And that forces him to the bench. They'd be in more serious trouble, Indonesia, if uh, Singapore had sunk a few more of their free throws. And they'll be back to the line shortly, the way Indonesia are fouling. They've got to be careful now. Russell Lowe came down with it. And so Lowe goes to the line. Well, if Singapore have to win the game from free throw line, so be it. Well, the uh, behind camera shows how true that shot was from Russell Lowe. Not quite as convincing the second one, but worth just as much. And Singapore out by three again. Hussein leaves it behind him for the three-point attempt. Strongly rebounded by Delvin Go. Way long. Trying to run the game from outside. Volkov. Way long. He'll guard it on his right shoulder. Four on the shot clock, loses it. And an open basket for Indonesia. And the Lopez. And Rio Lopez converts the easy two from way downtown. Nothing but rim. And then the backup rebound 
Indonesia not in the right spot to shut off uh, Falkov and he's fouled so we'll go to the line hits the rim takes an odd deflection Falkov quickest to react says I'll have some of this landed in his lap worked it off the glass and see if he can get the extra oh it's an absolute bonus all three of those points you have to say a little fortunate sometimes the ball bounces your way another day it won't Singapore by four again player down that was Falkov Indonesia Looking for a way to break down Singapore here. Six on the shot clock, and the shot goes. Set a poop. Falkov, recently arrived from Austria. Works his way into the paint. Disputed possession, Indonesia have it. Thought about the quick pass down court, thought better of it. Kastawa. Tseka, Andrakawa, Kastawa. And Indonesia have hit the lead. Twenty-nine, twenty-eight. timeout. And a grimace from in the uh, Singapore coach Frank Asago. Indonesia doing a little bit of damage now from outside. Okay, very good. Okay, now. <laughs> nice and relaxed, right? Keep things simple, right? For us, so with this group here, right? You've got to play on the outside, right? Okay? Like to work on the D. The thing is, the D's just coming off a little bit, right? On the defense, that you've got to be on that three-point line, right? You've just got to work really as hard as you can and keep that containment. Don't jump around and turn them. Right? Yeah, 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 let's go, guys. Let's go. 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 Singapore being asked to muscle up defense on that uh, perimeter. What a sweet three this was. From Prastawa. Down by five at quarter time, up by one now with 3.45, 3.46 left till half time. Remind you that Indonesia had a pretty comfortable 16 point win over Singapore. Oh yeah, 19 point win at the uh, Seba Games. It was back in May. Still looking for that open look. The referees often have the coaches in their ear. What's this going on here? Indonesia in the possession to extend the lead. And a turnover against uh, Furman. reason for one of the reasons for this low scoring game is that there's been a lot of unsuccessful possession Leon quick finds his way through a little slack defense from Indonesia this time Adianis long-range attempt from Prastawa not good this time. A memorable three he made from the top of the key. And 
Oh, is that good from the elbow? So still one difference is one, but it's swung back to Singapore. 30-29. Hey, hey, kalau dia begini, main kayak tadi, 45 di sini, 32 di sini. Yeah. Yeah. Jangan lengket tuh. Poin dia, Pak, dia mau skin sini, lu gua ke sini. Double di sini. Oh, langsung di sini. Ya, langsung di sini, double. Oke. Okay. And then yang ini, opposite top side. Di sini, turun sedikit. Yang ini, turun ke sedikit sini. Okay. Ya, yeah, always. Dia pas ini, lu double. Oke. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Lu pura-pura mau di screen ini, lari ke sini. Nanti, okay. yang ini di sini, nunggunya, coba. So, Without giving him too much time, right? You take up the next shooter, you got the three men, the rest of you boys, you know what you got, right? Out of this, our next play out, let's run our opening backdoor play for Leon, right? Okay, so you carry the ball, take it, uh, you boys on one side, you swing out for the shot, look for him going backdoor. Now, hey, if he's not open, if he's not open, step out and throw it here, and then five, screen for three, and go inside, right? Larry Liu getting uh, some fairly straightforward uh, instructions there from Frank Asego. Got a nice tight ball game here. Singapore and Indonesia in Pool B. Neither team has recorded a loss yet. Liu converts with the first so Indonesia in foul trouble as they were in the first quarter Lou just dripping with sweat but still got the hot hand at the free throw line so 32 29 that looks a little healthier having lost the lead only a couple of minutes ago Indonesia working through Prastawa they left him alone, he could have taken one of his long range attempts again. Oh, that looked a clean swipe at the ball, but... It was. Great work uh, from Russell Lowe. Set play, rims out. Strong rebound from Singapore. And uh, Leon Quick has fouled. Delvin goes back on for Singapore. Looked to be a lot in that. Furman. Nine from 12 now. That's a little better at the free throw line. Both shooting at 75%. Not now. That's quick. This is one. This is two. And so Rivaldi took the rebound and sets Indonesia off once more. Adrianus. Good follow through from Rivaldi. Vincent Rivaldi. Lou backing his way into the paint. Goes against uh, Lim. And Frank Casago doesn't like the call. <laughs> Careful, Frank. Three is good from Pastawa. And Indonesia back in front with the 75 seconds left in the second quarter. Indonesia 
have lost the momentum here late in the second can they get it back well, I might be able to get it back at the free throw line the door shut this was the earlier three from Prostawa he's got a couple of them now but the Indonesian fans happy Bin Jun Yuan to the line been deemed an unsportsmanlike uh, foul because uh, Indonesia have to watch as Singapore bring it back in 60 seconds left back off the limb got the look Nicely finished. Larry Lou's basket. And rebound. He's done some good work in the last 20 seconds. Get Singapore back in front. Shot clock at uh, 10 seconds inside the game clock. Lou. The foul go against Lim. Two shots for Indonesia. Ball the foul. And this could put them back in front. That looked to be Singapore's ball. And they just weren't quite desperate enough. <laughs> Fatana Difta made sure he, uh, the refs saw what happened there. Fair enough. It's a good physical contest. will have 11 seconds almost to add to the lead or to take the lead <laughs> 35 all now trying to make friends with the refs that's that's better diplomacy Frank I think the referees understand the passion that uh, coaches have for the game. Indonesia looking for one last decent play. They'll look for the three and come up short. That is the end of the half and we're all tied up. What a game. It was Singapore by five at quarter time, but a good response from Indonesia. And had uh, a sniff of the lead a couple of times in this second quarter. Nothing to separate them though at half time. Singapore and Indonesia, 35 apiece.
If not, you kick it over there, and then we might go in that way. All right, so we've got an option of getting a, that inside look first, right? We've got that. Right, if they play zone, first thing you need to do is you guys need to organise the shape. As soon as we organise... We have the game beautifully poised here at the Marba Stadium in Kuala Lumpur with Singapore and Indonesia. A Group B men's basketball match, 35 all. Our man of the headband, Mario Wusang, the Indonesian-American, regarded as Indonesia's uh, best point guard. He's had a good first half, but has had to spend some minutes on the bench with Indonesia twice running into foul trouble. Singapore in possession to start the second half. Volkov plays it off the leg. Volkov again inside. Got the shot away. And a lucky offensive rebound really for Singapore. for the three this time. They just won't go. Working very hard inside uh, the Singapore rebounders. Delvin Go especially. Comes up smiling. Basketball's a physical game and if you don't like it physical, try something else. Singapore had a five-point lead at quarter time. All tied up at half time. Are these the first points of the third quarter? We'll know in a moment. 
Oh, well, I thought he was at the line. It's not, of course. Still, can they convert the possession? Help me out here. Sidipu says me. And it will be Singapore to the line this time. Haven't been uh, currying the favour of the referees, Indonesia. They've got themselves repeatedly in foul trouble. This time it's uh, Sitapu heading to the bench. Russell Lowe. Gets the second and gets the first point of the third quarter. Busan. Gets his own rebound, it does. Wisnu. And Indonesia will keep possession. Wisnu, how was that not a foul? Tap the way, it's the advantage of Wusang. Both teams getting their share of offensive boards. Wisnu works it into the paint again, back out to Wusang. And Mario, nope, won't go. Mario won't go. So through 90 seconds of the third quarter, Indonesia still scoreless and Singapore have only added one. It's a drought out there. Who's going to break it? Too long in the key, I think, and uh, Frank saying he came out of the key. Maybe not early enough. So Indonesia. There's a lane to the basket, and still they miss. Two minutes into the third quarter, and we've had one point between them. discussion amongst the referees about whether the player was on his way to the basket to the line or not I think not Volkov pleading his case Indonesia pleading theirs All right, he is at the line can't get these right Looks like he spends a bit of time in the weights room. Mitchell Falkoff. Setapu checking back in for Indonesia. And Vincent. So this new is out. Singapore by a couple, both free throws in the third quarter as Mario Wusang brings it up once more it's a couple of screens to work with fires it across to Vincent Rivaldi and his shot was not too accurate or oh, picked up on the half volley beautifully off the feet from uh, Wei Long it's been quiet in this game can he spark something late Good D from Indonesia. But then a mistake in possession. They didn't treasure the turnover. Indonesia with another look here. Players all set around the key. 
Falkov has the job of bringing it in for Singapore. Good set play. It's not there though. Shooting of both teams has gone ice cold in this third quarter. Only white shirts there for the rebound. One way long again. Trying to set something going here. Falkov. Just can't find it. What a terrible pass. Picked off by Mario Waisang. Indonesia might make them pay this time. That's an absolute coach killer, that previous pass from Singapore. Oh my goodness. The only good news for Singapore is that Indonesia, until then, hadn't scored in this quarter. Now they have. Two points in three and a half minutes for both. It's not to say it's not entertaining. It's got its moments. It's just that the, uh, the shooting isn't there. The penetration's not there. Plenty of offensive rebounds too, and still they can't manage it. Just look a bit directionless, Singapore. Finally, Russell Lowe gets it to go. First field goal for Singapore in the third quarter. Six points in four minutes. Delicious pass again from Mario. Makes its way out to Lopez. They get the rebound and get it to go. Second time. Abraham Damar it's the basket for Indonesia we're tied up again at 39 all so it's only four all in this third quarter and we've had four and a quarter minutes of play way long trying to get them set Falkov Eight on the shot clock. They better get themselves organised. Falkov for three. Oh, it had a good look. And they get another offensive board. Let's calm down. And that seems to be the message. Long way long. Mm. Satorius reckons he was stationary. King foul seems to be going against him. He claims he had position. Long way long. Oh. He's having a quiet game in all respects. They could be six or seven up Singapore if they'd been just a touch more accurate at the line. Second one goes. Well, if you come to watch a free scoring game, you've come to the wrong venue. It's hard work out there. Hard off the rim. Falkoff with the rebound. Way long. Oh, he's travelled, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Just a little late getting rid of the ball. One way long. A really good guard, but uh, and he wouldn't travel too often, except to, to games, of course. Dreadful punt.
both teams a little out of sorts in this third quarter. We look set for a mighty second half when we're tied up at 35 all at the long break. But they've come out cold. Indonesia back in possession inside the second five minutes of the third quarter. Prastana. Nothing is coming easily to either side. Chok is now on. Singapore. Jonathan Chok. Just not taking the first shot. This time they bank it off the glass. And Leon Quick pushes the lead out to three now for Singapore. Indonesia. More willing to shoot from outside. Not a lot of outside shooting happening for Singapore. Quick taking the sweet shot. Goes a limb. Chun Yuan quickly out of his chair to congratulate. Three fifty left in the third. Singapore have rarely been out of the lead. Indonesia have had it a couple of times. And the foul goes against Singapore. And we may have Prostawa to the line. We've had a paucity of free throws in this match so far, Indonesia. And it bounces his way. He gets the second. The margin is one. He doesn't, though. Singapore with a rebound, off to the races. Not a lot happening on the fast break. He's trapped there, and he's done well to play it off his opponent uh, one way long. He had nowhere to go, except off the defence. Shrewd play. Quick. Seven on the shot clock. Quick back inside. He picks up Delvin Go. But both defences deserve a tick. Both offences deserve a kicking. Go to the line. Thirteen of twenty-two. I get thirteen of twenty-three. That hurts. Free throw shooting needs to be better. If you're smart enough to get the opposition in foul trouble, then you've got to be skillful enough to put them through at better than fifty percent. Kelvin Go gets one of the two. Leads back out to three. And then he's with twenty-five points off the bench. Twenty-five of their forty. Strongly rebounded by Go. The shots just won't go. So Singapore leading this third quarter 8-5. So what have we had? 13 points in seven minutes. That's not a lot. Singapore dominating the boards by eight certainly got their share of offensive rebounds and haven't converted many of those second chances way long at the line brick by brick they're building a lead but it's not much of one and it can disappear quickly 
couple of converted turnovers and Indonesia will be level or in front well, that's the way they can play and it goes Angio Lopez with the basket Singapore having to work so hard in possession to get anywhere near taking a shot from the field Indonesia knowing that their free throw shooting is poor and a travel again against Singapore and again it's one way long well, whichever team wins this will probably concede they won ugly as we say in sport There isn't room for pretty pictures on the scorecard, as we say in golf. A couple of shots coming up for Indonesia. Two shots for Indonesia. Chance to tie the game once again. We'll see if uh, Mitchell Falkoff can spark something off the bench here as he rejoins the game. And long way long. Just not at his best, I feel. The first one goes for Angia Lopez. Off hands for an Indonesian second attempt, and this time it does go for Adianis. And they're back in front. Well, said it would happen quickly if it did happen. Things starting to go the way of Indonesia. I wonder if there's going to be a timeout called from Singapore. An ugly trend has come over the match from their point of view. Oh, and he doesn't convert. And there it was for Vincent Rivaldi. How did I miss that one? Anyway, he's It'll be a timeout, I think. John Ng comes over first to the bench. Down by two now, Singapore. They've led for most of this third quarter and have just run out of gas towards the end. A very physical game. <coughs> OK, this group, audio. Offensively, when we come down, open the floor up and let's run four. Four out, right? Key thing is to one side and we've got to be able to get the ball to the other side. Create a reversal and get a close out. Get the close out. If you catch the ball and you're still playing one on one, move the ball. Okay, okay defense. Defense, get under size. Okay, guys. Let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go, let now with two-point lead that's about as much as they've enjoyed put this for three here's Vincent Rivaldi and Vincent gets the second Indonesia by three. 90 seconds for Singapore to try and refine some momentum and some accuracy from the field. A little careless with it for a moment there. Indonesia. Difter. Off to Sandy. Rebound gathered in 
by Singapore. Badly need a basket in this closing minute. Preferably two. They've absolutely stalled. Falkov. Four on the shot clock. Something's got to go up. And it does. Out of the hand of Russell Lowe, but it won't go. Adianis for Indonesia, looking for a way through, looking for an open man. Adianis gets it back. Five on the shot clock for him. Throws it to the benches. That's <laughs> we got uh, the shot clock in sync with the game clock pretty much to end out this third quarter. Twenty-one points scored in the quarter. That's not many. Indonesia was slightly the better of it. Indonesia have barely had a shot from the field. Uh, Larry Q worked hard to get to the basket. Couldn't make it go. And a frustrating last few minutes for Singapore as they surrendered the lead to Indonesia. So at the end of three, it's Indonesia with the lead, underway. Indonesia with a three-point lead. Both teams shooting rather terribly from the field at a 35% but Indonesia are uh, finding something either side of the break. Pratama Difta goes to the line for the extra and a quick passage to 50 points. Indonesia won the third quarter 12-9. So Singapore scored 19 points in the first quarter and 16 in the second, 9 in the third. So the tank is emptying fast. Have not been able to shake off this resilient Indonesian defence. 
Oh, ambitious pass inside. Red shirts everywhere. And on the fast break, they pick up another couple through Adianis. And suddenly the lead is eight for Indonesia. Biggest lead of the game. They hardly had it in the first two quarters. Volkov was driving in hard to the paint. Adianis off to the races. Best you can say about that from Singapore's point of view is that they didn't foul him. Shooting less than 50% at the free throw line, Singapore. 15 of 26. dug themselves a hole early in the last quarter Indonesia too early into the key probably again but uh, they don't call it and Hadianis he's quick having trouble keeping up with him on the fast break for the three and it's all going right for Indonesia now Andrea Lopez with a telling three and the lead is ten Larry Liu needs help nobody's stepping up here nobody's taking control of the game for Singapore what about now cannot buy a three and the rebound is Indonesia's Adianis is having a good last quarter, really helping to run the game for Indonesia. Lost the handle there though, they did. Good defensive pressure from Singapore, but in possession they've got to do something. Lou got a bit of a look inside, but nobody's taking authority taking the early opportunity they're looking to dish off to someone else that was a three from Lopez <laughs> I saw that one Fourteen points now for Nguyen Lopez. Russell Lowe needs them both. Get the lead under ten and then look for a couple of stops. Time at least is still on Singapore's side. Indonesia as Larry Liu checks back in sorry uh, Leon Quick does get them both as uh, Low. Loose pass from Sandy and Indonesia just want to make sure they don't let slip what they've worked hard to establish and that is a good lead it's been 10 it's back to 8 Singapore blue and it is a travel against uh, Russell Lowe and an exasperated uh, Frank Asago you can see this game slipping away 
every time Singapore get a hard one turnover they give it straight back and trying to put some pressure high up Singapore and they escape the trap Indonesia five on the shot clock and pull the trigger oh stole the rebound did uh, Damar from behind an extraordinary bit of basketball that uh, didn't yield further points though second effort points just not there for either team it's been scrappy 55 47 Singapore scored 100 against Laos Lao, and 95 against Cambodia and finally it goes Leon Quek uh, nice pass inside from Wong Wei Long looked like he could have taken the shot himself so they've pulled it back to six with six and a half to go Indonesia needing a steadier now Adianis looked ready to shoot over the top found the man inside and that was Leon Quek we've got Harianis at the line now Volkov back on no, Harianis not at the line bit of a misunderstanding about uh, the call Sidipu backing in towards the basket oh, and Patana Dita was pushed off it looks set to take the rebound for Indonesia and he was fouled so the shot clock again at 14 as Indonesia restart Hussain is back on Mario dishes off to Damar and Singapore getting themselves in foul trouble now this is all falling the way of Indonesia when it matters most slightly outplayed in the first quarter 19-14 won the second quarter 19-16 so it was uh, 35 all so the third the third was 12-9 to Indonesia 57-49 Five steals, Indonesia. And a delicate touch from Wong Wei Long. Trims it to six again. Marianis with the two. 21-16 was the second quarter to Indonesia. Just got my maths wrong there. Outside baskets not really happening for Singapore. What about now? Yes, finally a three. And Larry Liu. They certainly needed that. What they need more is a stop. Mario Wusang. And one quick little push on the perimeter. And gets the bench to their feet. 
Uh, unfortunately though, well, three point attempts, two from 10 and five from 16. So 20% from outside for Singapore. More like 33% uh, for Indonesia. It's Difter at the line. Four of five free throws now for him. So he's not the man to foul. Larry Lou. Working hard to find somebody. And that'll be Singapore's ball. Six on the shot clock. And just in possession, not as productive and efficient as they need to be, Singapore. It's been such a struggle. Got the shot away, doesn't go. And that'll be Indonesia's ball. Well, they're under shot clock pressure again, Singapore. Indonesia's D has been top draw. Singapore. Trailing by seven. Frank Asago says, I need a chat to the boys. If we do get a deep inside catch, right? Try and do the work first. When you catch it, do the work first. So then you're only Indonesia leading this second half 26-19. And they have possession. We heard Frank Osago say, look, we can't go basket for basket through the remainder of the game. We're not going to win it. Mario Waisang for Indonesia. Terrific point guard. Love watching him play. He's got all the shots and all the moves, and he's got a three to restore a 10-point lead for Indonesia. A little nod. So, yep, that's the way it's done. Lou. Volkov, four on the shot clock. It's just not there. Delvin go. He was well outside. A great three from Mario Wesang. Born in Surabaya, high school in Indiana. Scored 20 against Singapore in the Philippines at the SEBA games a few months back. Fourteen seconds now to work with for Singapore. Low works it towards the paint from the top. It's way short and the rebound's collected by Dichter. Can't see a way out of this jam for Singapore. I've lost the knack of scoring. And Wisnu is back into the game. Three 
Actually, 30 left. He's not had a happy time of it. He's got himself in foul trouble early. That's why we've not seen him for quite a while. Ingia Lopez is back in. Visnu was on the court for seconds only. At least that's what it felt like. This is a must-score possession for Singapore. And preferably not use the whole of the shot clock either. As they're too far behind. They've got to be efficient. They've got to be accurate. It's a head scratcher now for Frank Asago with Indonesia relishing the prospect of another turnover. Wusang. Open man, open channel. Three minutes left, ten the lead. Indonesia doing it at a canter now. Ingio Lopez to the line. He's been uh, their scoring option. They're shutting this game down. They won 71-50 a few months back in that SEBA game we've been talking about. And they pushed the lead out to 12. And uh, Mario Wusang had no trouble latching onto that one. Oh, but uh, the pass was okay. But, uh, Lopez couldn't accept it. I'm running out for Singapore to mount the comeback. Might as well pull the trigger from out there and hope. Hope goes unanswered. Unrewarded. You can just milk the clock here. No urgency for Indonesia to go to the basket. Busang well protected. Just Dribbling around. No shot offered. I'm watching the shot clock on that occasion. It's not going to hurt them though, you don't think, with 12 the lead and two to go. I think Mario Wusang was a little disappointed. His teammates weren't awake to the shot clock pressure. But they're not under the sort of pressure that Singapore are. So Singapore will go to a record of two and one. And it'll be 2-0 for Indonesia, short of a miracle here in the last uh, minute and 45. The Dift has done well in defence for Indonesia. There's the turnover. <laughs> he had position and he made sure the refs saw it. They agreed with him. My saying. So Singapore not tempted to foul him. Attempt from out deep from Difta. Doesn't go. They get the, the offensive board though. And another couple of points for Lopez. And Angio Lopez has been a star for Indonesia, especially in this second half. So the lead at 14. The job's done really for Indonesia. Even in the dying minutes, the threes won't go for Singapore. They've been very poor from outside. Waisang now. Again, just winding the clock down. Singapore not tempted to try and 
foul their way back into the game. Well, he just had his toe over the line. It's only a two. <laughs> Some on the bench thought a three. But uh, it's a, a long-range successful attempt, but his toe was just over the line, unfortunately. That's uh, Sidapu. So winding it down now. Far the dominant team in the second half, Indonesia. It was 35 all at half time. It's hard to imagine how that could be with a 16 point win coming their way, at least. 19 points only for Singapore in the second half. <laughs> Levin Raj, the large, comes on for the last few seconds. 17 years of age and he's a big man. Muscle low. Just a little sore on it. Mario Waisang. Certainly being a dominant player in the game. Difter has played well and they're all smiles on the Indonesian bench. Started the game as favourites, didn't play like it in the first quarter, they were down by five, drew level at half time and have been significantly the better team since then. <laughs> well they just agreed that that seems to be the end, the referee didn't even bother to get out of the way of the ball as the clock finds its way to zero. Well played. The coaches, good sportsmanship all around. Indonesia, too good. They've got it by 16. So this Group B match ends with Indonesia backing up the win they had at the SEBA Games. And it was a 21-point uh, win. And here it's by 16. So they'll go forward with plenty of confidence, Indonesia. A bit to think about for Singapore as the, the points dried up in the second half. But uh, teams gather in the middle. Well, at least Singapore does to have a quick post-mortem. There'll be more to talk about in the hours to come. But congratulations to Indonesia with a Group B win over Singapore as the officials are thanked. That's always good to see. We don't have a game without them. Singapore were right in it up until half time and then it just stopped. So Indonesia 70, Singapore 54 in this Group B match.